Hello guys, in this video we'll see how to fit an instance on the size of the face, taking in consideration width and height. This is thanks to RageKit user in BlenderArtist.org. I bought a couple of GeoNodes with this feature but were too complicated. I tried a lot of things and ways to do it. You can't imagine. But I'm not so good in maths or maybe I'm not so smart. But, but. I know how to Google and I found it. RageKit developed a very smart way to use it and it's not so expensive in processing time. It gives me permit to show you this method in my video. So, really thanks RageKit, this will change the world of the architectural you know. So, let's begin. I'm using material selection to, to define in which phase I want this I balconies for, for me. So as you can see, this works perfect on on the scale to fit the width and the height. If we select this narrow face and assign the material, you will see that the instance is stretched to fit on the face. And one more thing that Rage kit added is the non square filter on the nodes. So if we have a non square face, the node will not work and the instance will not appear. So taking in, in consideration this, you can disactivate it this part, but the instance could rotate in a weird way. First of all, we, we have to set the filter face area to filter the uh, small faces that can have a uh, instance and looks well. So with the group input, we will create an, an output with minimum face area. This is a normal value a float value, sorry. So in this case is 0.5 and connect with a face area node in a compare map greater than and using a selection to separate geometry. With the same geometry and with separate geometry again, we can filter the triangular faces using face neighbors in face count and equal to 4. Using the dot product node with a compare node and a capture attribute, we can filter the non square faces. So, what's the case on the little cabin? If the face is not a perfect square with this kind of limit, uh, the instance will not appear. After the capture attribute, we will use the, again the separate geometry node with attribute in the selection. This connection we'll see uh, later. After this, we will capture the normal of each faces. It's, in, it's important to remember that this node tree is taking in count every face of the of the geometry. So will be expensive in processing time. Now, with the normal capture, we can put the orientation with the align to Euler vector as we had uh, watched in the, in the previous videos. In this case, I'm using two times the same node for instance two different things. These little balconies and the white balconies above. You need to create the instance in a square in order to fit perfectly. If your instance are not square, you will have empty space on the size. But we uh, adjust the height. So for me, works in in this way. But for this, I created my instance in a square and after it fits or stretch, 
in depending of the of the physically so after the orientation we create mesh to points node with your selection and instance on point collection to instance the random value for the instance index in my case i have uh, three variations on, on the on these high balconies the normal one with the flags and one with plants and i don't see it here And the scale value is a is a measure to adjust the the width of of the instance on the face if they are not perfectly square, or if you want to have the instance bigger than the than the face. Now we can start with the important part of this node. First of all, we need an index node. To search the index of each face. With this index, we will calculate the width and height of each face. After the index, we will use divide by four because we are using a square face, so we need four. After, we will use the floor node and a multiply by four. This node tree is for the corner position. The first value will be connected with the first field at index in vector, face corner, and position. Again, we connect this to an add. This will be connected again with the same kind of node. And after another add node to a field and the index again. So with this three node, if we have a face like this, a square face, we will have one connection, uh, one index, the index of one vertex of the other and the other. And the other one is the left one. So, with this, you can have the index of a face. This will get the corner position of each face. Now, with this, we can subtract the position of each one. Please connect on the right way to have the, the correct position. And after, we can measure the length of the vector to, to know in which direction it is, if it's height or if it's the width. It's very important to connect, to make this connection well. Yes, corner position, both face size, and the first value of the length is going on the true position, on the true input, and the second one is going to up. We'll see this connection later in order to, to make this complicated node uh, work. And this will uh, measure the length side. And in the same node with the inverted connection will measure the length up. This is very important because it's the scale that we need. So the length up in this case will see the measure in C and the length side will be the measure on X. Why you can adjust or not, but at least you have to have one. We can return now. On both face size, the vector value we will connect to a normalized node. These normalized nodes are connected here on the filter non-square node. So now you have all the upper part complete. Yes, the first normalize 
is going to the first input and the second normalized is to the second but it's done it doesn't matter because dot product is a multiplication so now the face forward vector map node it's a, a way to orientate the face so in this case we are using the normalize in vector and incident with the operation face forward with c in minus one it's very important this and the same for the second one again dot product and less or less than or equal with this dot product this is the way to define up and do the selection for the length side a length up node I'm not very good in mathematics to explain this in a better way but if you have this node connected correctly you will have the node tree uh, in working so with this less than or equal we can connect on this node vector up face forward is connected on false and face forward the second face forward is connected on true the normal capture is using the geometry input from the beginning so we will use this to connect here and pass the uh, geometry for the mesh two points and with this we can up the scale so so this is a way to create the correct orientation for the orientation this small orientation notary that we have here so the output from this find up node will be on the vector of the second align to Euler node align Euler to vector node and the first will be the normal capture on vector after this rotation will be connected to the instance on points rotation I have two instance instance on point so I have two connections but you can have only one and will work the length up and length side will be connected on this combined white seed that was the scale in this capture attribute we will capture the scale and we'll put it on a scale node only if you need this is for adjust as i say before and connected on scale and that is this will be connected on the joint geometry node and to the general output for me i like to work on real time so i made this switch node in order to activate or disactivate this part of the node tree and i can move it uh, more natural with flow but if you want always working you can have this activate as you can see i have a little frame drop here because it's counting each phase of the geometry in order to calculate so you can disactivate or activate and work in the other way and after uh, activate again to the final render or whatever so a little overview or in on each part of the node tree filter face area with the filter triangular face we use this selection to the filter non square face and after we'll use this to capture the normal of each face with the normal we'll use the orientation for the instance to rotate in on the correct way and the geometry will will be traveling from the normal capture to the capture attribute 
a do, oni tam są fajni. On the second part of this node tree, we are using the corner index three values. On the second part of the node, we are using the corner index to determine the width and height of each face. Getting the corner position and the both face size. After, we are using this node tree to find the rotation of the face. And this little part below, we are using the both face size with a length node to know which is the length up on the left side of the node. Combining in XYZ to be the scale. After all of this attribute is working on instance on points to create the instance. Reshkit uh, shares this node on blenderartist.org and is free to download if you don't want to create from your own. But uh, it is it's important to know how you are organized this in order to use it later on, on every project that you want. Bonus time. To instance this chimney, I'm using the roof tile node that we create on the first chapter. And using this random value using the boolean type and probability on 0 0.001 you can spawn chimneys on the roof tile not on the roof tile but on the roof so as you can see i can spawn a lot of chimneys or the right the right amount now and you can control so much, so please search a good seat for you. This is look right. Okay, thank you guys. Likes and comment, share and subscribe. See you on the next one.